A proposed constitutional amendment by Republicans to require voter identification every time you vote would also perhaps raise the voting age to 21 in Pennsylvania. But can they do that? Here's political editor John Delano. When the Republican-controlled state legislature in Harrisburg passed five constitutional amendments, one of them appears to include a 21-year-old voting age for Pennsylvania voters, even though the federal constitution was amended 50 years ago to lower that to 18. 19-year-old Caleb Brobst, chair of the Carnegie Mellon College Democrats, is skeptical this was inadvertent by Republican lawmakers. Personally, I'm appalled and I would like to give them the benefit of the doubt that they weren't trying to do it and it's simply legislative language that needs to get clean up as, cleaned up as, pro, as part of the process. Uh, but unfortunately, given their past actions with disenfranchising voters, I don't know if they deserve that benefit of the doubt. Sources tell me that while House Republicans did originally have the voting age at 18, Senate Republicans maintain the current state constitutional language at 21 because they thought it, quote, unnecessary to change it. Adding, quote, the addition of the 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution changed the voting age to 18. While the voting age in the Pennsylvania Constitution remains 21, the U.S. Constitution supersedes the Pennsylvania Constitution, making the voting age in Pennsylvania 18. But Will Allison, political director of the Pitt College Democrats, sees plenty of reasons for Republican lawmakers to disenfranchise young voters. The Republican Party knows that they lose the youth vote. Young people vote overwhelmingly for Democrats, and that is a trend that has only continued. They know they can't win young votes, so why not disenfranchise young voters, I guess? Again, Republican lawmakers deny that this was their intent. But unless lawmakers clean up the language, Voters could be asked to vote on an amendment that keeps the voting age at 21. John Delano, KDKA News.